Hello guys, it is Wednesday. Guys, it's unfortunately been another crappy week. Um, while people who have subbed have been amazing, um, Aiden and Caroline, nice videos, short but definitely sweet, both of them. We're all just really having a crappy week. We all know what's going on. I don't know. It, it just seems that life sucks all around for the time being. Um, and because so many of you, um, didn't post, and I haven't talked to you in a while, everybody just seemed to be kind of bummed, thought that I would take this chance to maybe do something fun and read you some Shell Silverstein poetry, which I was going to do in April, which is actually National Poetry Month, but I didn't get around to it, so I'll do it now. So, enjoy! How many, how much? How many slams in an old screen door? Depends how loud you shut it. How many slices in a bread? Depends how thin you cut it. How much good inside a day? Depends how good you live. How much love inside a friend depends how much you give. How not to dry the dishes. If you have to dry the dishes, such an awful boring chore. If you have to dry the dishes instead of going to the store. If you have to dry the dishes and you drop one on the floor, maybe they won't let you dry the dishes anymore. But something new. Draw a crazy picture, write a nutty poem. Sing a mumble gumble song, whistle through your comb. Do a loony goony dance across the kitchen floor. Put something silly in the world that's not, that ain't been there before. Rock and roll band. If we were a rock and roll band, we'd travel all over the land. We'd play and we'd sing and we'd wear spangly things if we were a rock and roll band. If we were a rock and roll band, and we were up there on the stand, the people would hear us and love us and cheer us. Hooray for that rock and roll band. If we were a rock and roll band, then we'd have a million fans. We'd giggle and laugh and sign autographs if we were a rock and roll band. If we were a rock and roll band, the people would all kiss our hands. We'd be millionaires and have extra long hair if we were a rock and roll band. But we ain't no rock and roll band. We're just seven kids in the sand, with homemade guitars and pails and jars and drums and potato chip cans. Just seven kids in the sand, talking and waving our hands, and dreaming and thinking, oh wouldn't it be grand if we were a rock and roll band? Asians. If we meet and I say hi, that's a salutation. If you ask me how I feel, that's consideration. If we stop and talk a while, that's a conversation. If we understand each other, that's communication. If we argue, scream and fight, that's an altercation. If we later apologize, that's reconciliation. If we help each other home, that's cooperation. And all these Asians added up make civilization. And if I say this is a wonderful poem, is that exaggeration? Invitation. If you are a dreamer, come in. If you are a dreamer, a wisher, a liar, a hoper, a prayer, a magic bean buyer. If you're a pretender, come sit by my fire, for we have some flex golden tails to spin. Come in. Come in. Where are the sidewalk in? There is a place where the sidewalk ends, and before the street begins. And there the grass grows soft and white, and there the sun burns crimson bright, and there the moon bird rests from his flight, to cool in the peppermint wind. Let us leave this place where the smoke glows black, and the dark street winds and bends. Past the pits where the asphalt flowers grow, we shall walk with a walk that is measured and slow, and watch where the chalk white arrows go, to the place where the sidewalk ends. Yes, we'll walk with a walk that is measured and slow, and we'll go where the chalk white arrows go, for the children they mark, and the children they know, the place where the sidewalk ends. Dancing Pants And now for the dancing pants, doing their fabulous dance. From the seat to the pleat, they will bounce to the beat, and with no legs inside them, and no feet beneath. They'll whirl and twirl, and jiggle and prance. So just start the music, and give them a chance. Let's have a big hand for the wonderful, marvelous, super sen sensational, utterly fabulous, talented dancing pants. If the world was crazy, if the world was crazy, you know what I'd eat? A big slice of soup and a whole quart of meat. A lemonade sandwich, and then I might try some roasted ice cream or bicycle pie. A nice notebook salad, an underwear roast, an omelet of hats and some crisp cardboard toast. A thick malted milk made from pencils and daisies. And that's what I'd eat if the world was crazy. If the world was crazy, you know what I'd wear? A chocolate suit and a tie of eclair, some marshmallow earmuffs and licorice shoes, and I'd read a paper of peppermint news. I'd call up the boys Susie, and I'd call the girls Harry. I'd talk through my ears, and I always would carry a paper umbrella for when it grew hazy to keep in the rain if the world was crazy. If the world was crazy, you know what I'd do? I'd walk on the ocean and swim in my shoe. I'd fly through the ground and I'd skip through the air. I'd run down the bathtub and bathe on the stair. And when, it, when I met somebody, I'd say goodbye, Joe. And when I was leaving, then I'd say hello. And the greatest of men would be silly and lazy, so I would be king if the world was crazy. Well, 
that's all the poetry I have for you folks. Um, that was from A Light in the Attic and Where the Sidewalk Ends. Um, I will have a list of which poem belonged to which in the sidebar. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and it made you feel better. If you enjoyed any or all of these Shel Silverstein poems, I would highly recommend buying one of these books. Um, he also wrote Falling Up, which is just another book collection of poems. And also Laugh Catio, which is one of my top three favorite books probably. And I wish I could read to you, but I don't actually have a copy of it anymore. Brian kind of stole my copy and can't get that back from him. Um, and also, I just I just don't read it as well as Brian does. He does the, the best reading of Laugh Catio out of any reading of every book I've ever seen. It, I would just be subpar, really. But if you um, enjoy any of these books, please check out Shel Silverstein. He also writes um, The Giving Tree. It's also very good. Although Laugh Catio is the best. Please check it out. Um, oh, I do actually have one more poem for you to close out, and um, happy Wednesday. The Battle. Would you like to hear of the terrible night when I bravely fought the... No? Alright.